Hey, today I'm going to go over a quick technique on using custom shapes from Adobe Photoshop and using them in Adobe Illustrator actually as vector art uh, points and paths, not a raster image. So uh, go ahead and open up uh, Photoshop and Illustrator. This can be helpful if you want to use some shapes that are already in Photoshop uh, as vector art over an Illustrator and build upon them for say logos and other designs. So in Photoshop go ahead and go to File New and you can uh, just choose some kind of large uh, file size here. All right, And click and hold on to the rectangle tool. If you don't see this toolbar, just go to Window, then go to Tools. It should show up. So click and hold on to the rectangle tool, go down to the Custom Shape tool, and click this down area here, make Unconstrained Fine, um, click the next uh, down arrow over to the right, and you notice I have a lot of options here. You might not see that. Just click this side arrow over here and go to All. Once you go to All, just click OK, and then it will list all of them in there. All right, so go ahead and choose one of these. And uh, this is the important part. Instead of having pixels up here in the upper left-hand corner, make sure it's a shape layer. That uh, first option on the left and click and drag you can distort it like that or you can hold shift and it'll maintain the proportion from the original size All right. once you've drawn that out you notice it creates a new shape layer in the layers palette just immediately go to edit copy then in illustrator go to file new and just go to edit paste compound path is fine and you can click and drag it around and you notice it is points and paths between those points so it's actually a vector shape you can add some color to it and you can uh, give it a fill or stroke like that and the cool thing is that you can of course choose the white direct selection tool and click and drag those anchor points if you want to adjust it adjust the angle of the anchor points of the handles and adjust the actual paths and not just not just the points between those paths All right. and another thing to maybe try is if you have a shape uh, as well so uh, let's say you can use a oval here Click and drag around both of them with a uh, selection arrow and go to Window, Pathfinder, and that first one on the left, Add To, and then you can add to the shape there. So it's fully editable. It's not pasted pixels. If you were back in Photoshop and you created it with the, the pixels right there option, then when you paste it in Illustrator, it actually would be pixels. So uh, be sure to do the shape layer, and it's an effective way to use already created designs in Adobe Photoshop uh, and converting them to vector shapes over in Illustrator. So if you had some kind of design you wanted to use in a JPEG style, um, you could always convert it after you uh, edit in Illustrator. You could paste it back into Photoshop and save as a JPEG if you want. So again, just go to Edit Copy, and then Paste, and then I will just set Fill, and you notice that it has just points, paths in between, so it's not just pixels, you know, pixelated raster image. It's actually a vector shape. So you can again change the angle of those handles, you can move those anchor points around and we can move the paths as well. And again you can take another shape add it to it and let's say just something like this, just as a random example click and drag around both of them, go to Pathfinder and add to in the top left hand corner you can also, of course, use the pen tool and add anchor points. If you click and hold on to the pen tool, 
go to add anchor point tool and then move those around as well like that alright so you can come up with some pretty unique designs the idea is that you're using some shapes that are already created in Photoshop and then uh, converting them to vector art over in Adobe Illustrator thanks <laughs>